So, uh, gonna quick do a short little video on this windshield that everyone is complaining the instructions are kind of marginal and I, I took a quick peek at the instructions. I, I'm not kind of an instruction kind of a guy, so I really didn't look at them too close. Um, so, what I've already kind of done is I've taken the windshield by the way, everything you're looking at is from the inside looking out. So in other words, um, if this was mounted right now, everything you see right here, this, this is on the inside of the actual um, four-wheeler UTV. So, <clears throat> so I cut back the plastic in here, and I just put the screws in real loose like they're supposed to be, you know. Um, it's one screw, one washer, pretty simple stuff. And um, <clears throat> I also did it to the lower piece down there. One thing uh, to be kind of uh, aware of is this is the edging piece, the piece that goes on your actual hood. And this piece right here, um, you know, that, that is uh, uh, sets on the other um, part of the windshield. So anyway, long story short is they give you extra and if they tell you to cut it beforehand which they do you actually will have plenty of extra and if i would have been smart i could have put it all the way across here so anyway if you're doing it you will have enough of this left over to go all the way across the bottom rather than what they tell you in the instructions also this has kind of some kind of a a soft glue so when you wiggle this stuff on um, it sets in place pretty good Anyway, I am going to uh, uh, show you how I mounted this, or going to mount this. And again, I kind of put everything on. I put it on real loose. Hopefully, I'll be able to just snap all this into place. Uh, and it's only going to take a few seconds to really get this going. So, um, yeah. Hold on. So, again, what I did here is... is um, I, I mounted everything. They probably don't recommend this, but I thought, you know what, why not give it a try? And just snap it into place, and sure enough, it, 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 it's, it snaps in pretty easy. So, it appears that it really doesn't fit too snug down there anyway, so not a big deal. So really the next piece is to put these on. And I know they said that there were some torque settings on this or snug these things down. where they're tight on the pipe. So anyway, I'm going to just start that. <clears throat> and also get this one started. I'm not going to put the, I'm not going to take the wrapper off of these until we're all done, eh, just in case. Then your real friend is one of these, so I'm going to set this on as, on a weak, weak as clutch as I can. can. And I'm just going to get these snug just so they go kind of go up and down. Yep, just like that. All right, so now we get to mount the top piece in. I don't know if I like these things or not. These are the mesh netting things. For down a little bit.
As you can see, these kind of go on, I'm guessing like right in between here somewhere. Um, by the way, I always, I always separate the screws and nuts out when I get anything. I put them into little piles. Uh, the same kind of screw goes in the same kind of pile. That way uh, it does a couple of things for you. It speeds up because you have all your parts right there. And also if you happen to be short one part, you'll know before you start and you'll be able to get new parts. So the next piece you put on is uh, this piece right here and as you can see it's it's kind of pie shaped right it's thinner at the bottom thicker at the top well that goes in because your bars actually go in so the bigger part goes at the bottom and there's two of these so anyway um, it a, a whole lot easier. Now as you can see we've got the same piece here at the bottom for the uh, the uh, little lever that lets your glass go in and out. So I'm going to go and remove these from here and mount these also on the bottom rung right here. So now that we have these in place, and again, these little uh, wedges go up and in and in, right? So now I'm going to, because this bottom piece is, is squared away, I, I, um, I'm going to torque these in on both sides. <coughs> So now I've tightened this bolt down and the two front ones are snug and uh, let's see, I think I got them both, all of them. Yeah, we're good to go there. So now we're going to put in the, the top one. Again, all these are still somewhat loose here. So put in the... Uh, top windshield. I'm guessing this would be a lot easier with, with two people, but no doubt we'll get it made. Oh, that was easy. I guess it's not as difficult as uh, I was thinking. So, there you go. That was easy. Okay. Well, there it is. Now I know that they, I think they said something about keeping a, a gap. A gap down here, like I think like a quarter of an inch or so. So my guess is these little guys, the wing nuts, the lock nuts, will probably suffice. One in there. That looks pretty doggone close right there. So I think uh, now I think I can tighten down that top knuckle up in here. And by the way, make sure that you put these on so that Alan is on this side. If you put it on this side, you won't be able to obviously tighten it down. I'm only going to tighten the top one right now. <clears throat> because... 
I gotta make sure that these, uh, I guess, go in and out, right? So. Putting the, the T nuts. Kind of now you can almost get to the point on snugging everything up, I'm guessing. That's there, that's there. I can tighten these down. Like that. There we go. Now all I gotta do is tighten the face face screws on those down, and I think we'll be good to go. Just uh, hop to the side. And... Seems plenty rigid. I think we're good. So, and we'll switch this around a little bit. I'll peel this back. tighten there I guess. Good to go. Off comes the paper. That's it, folks. Nothing more, nothing less. Cool.